Good morning and welcome to Agoracom Small Cap Stock News. It's uh, Wednesday, February the 5th, 2014. I've done my morning homework. I've uh, gone through a bunch of press releases and found some good ones uh, to talk about today. In fact, uh, as uh, our regular viewers might know, uh, I've been away for the last couple days. I've been fighting a cold and uh, finally started to feel better. So we're going to do a show today. Uh, as you can probably tell, I've still got a, still stuffed up a little bit, uh, but I'm getting through the cold. Uh, I'm not the only one these days. Uh, because I missed the last couple days, um, I actually have about uh, 12 uh, news releases to talk about today. Now, generally, we try to make the show around a 10-minute time frame, but uh, today I think I'll run closer to 15 minutes to catch up on all the news. I'm Alan Barry Labucan. I'm the chief market commentator for Agoracom. Uh, as I said, uh, we've got a lot of news to talk about, so I'm going to get right on to it. Uh, the first company that I'm going to talk about today is uh, Generate uh, Generate Media, and that's G-E-N-E-R-8, the number eight, media. Um, <clears throat> this company um, uh, has uh, announced that they're doing a multi-picture 3D conversion deal with Rainmaker Entertainment, which is one of Canada's largest producers of computer-generated animation. Um, the, uh, these are two leaders in Vancouver's growing film industry, uh, Generate and uh, Rainmaker, and this is their second collaboration. So that's very interesting news. Uh, and I'm um, just pulling up their stock. They're, uh, no, no trading today. Uh, the one-year chart I'm looking at now. Um, this company has uh, been on a breakout since October. Uh, it just started trading back in April of 2013, late April of 2013. It was a very sleepy stock until the uh, October, uh, and since then it's been on a very powerful move. Uh, it is above its 100-day moving average quite convincingly. Uh, it's getting close, it's just slightly under its 20-day and getting close to its 50-day. Uh, that 50-day is also around a support level, which was former resistance, and I think that comes in at about $1.30. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for on that stock. GNR is their stock symbol, and they trade on the uh, Canadian Securities Exchange. Uh, next company is Virtuto Networks. Uh, Virtuto Networks had another great month in January uh, of $9.2 million in revenue. Uh, this is, um, <clears throat> they, they just closed off a, a financing too and, uh, and uh, looking towards future um, record months. Uh, this company has really increased their revenue during 2014. 2013, now starting into 2014, uh, compared to where they were in 2012. Uh, this company is also a, uh, an Agoracom sponsor. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, and uh, I'm just going to pull up their stock chart now. Stock's up half a penny today to 48 cents. Um, the uh, stock has been on a very solid move since October. Uh, is trading above its 2050 and 100 day moving averages on good volume. All of this has been happening well. They've been having some uh, record quarters in revenue. Uh, so it looks very solid on the news front and on the stock chart. VFX is their stock symbol and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is Scorpio Gold. Scorpio Gold um, uh, released uh, um, drill results. Uh, from their 70% owned Mineral Ridge pro project, which is located in Nevada. One of the highlight holes intersected 6.06 .06 grams per ton gold over 10.67 meters at that Mineral Ridge project in Nevada. Very good results there. Uh, they have several other holes um, with uh, that you can find the uh, drill results in. Um, I'm always watching for high grade in, in uh, Nevada. So they've got a, a very good results there. Stocks flat today on uh, at 27 cents on 21,000 shares traded. Pulling up their stock chart now, 
and uh, they bought them back in early December uh, and uh, broke through their 2050 and 100 day moving averages in uh, in later December uh, and since then they uh, they've been kind of going sideways in January and February I think this is this is creating a new base uh, for them to launch from I'm liking what I'm seeing with this stock chart uh, I think there's a good chance that I'll be talking about this one on our best of the best in weekly news show and SGN is their stock symbol they trade on the venture exchange. Next up is Quest Air Energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Quest Air Energy has recently spotted 100% uh, working interest well in the in uh, West Central Alberta. Um, they are uh, they they've uh, com confirmed high pressure gas rates, uh, and we're they're looking forward to the results from this well. Uh, with 10 net sections in the area that have not yet been assessed for resources, pot positive results could material improve or improve their Motney uh, resource base. And uh, Quest Air, I'm just looking at the stock for today, is up one penny to a dollar 25 on 62.7 or 62,000 shares traded. Uh, looking at their stock chart, they had a very good move since June. Uh, took it all the way from about 70 cents a share, which was the low in June, all the way up to a dollar 58. Then it gave back some ground in Dece uh, November, December. Uh, had a rally off of the December lows, uh, rallied, and then uh, and then has been given back some of those gains. So it's now trading slightly below the uh, 2050 and 100 day moving averages. I'll be interested to see if it can create a base here. It would be a higher low, uh, which is very encouraging. And uh, I think that would give them a good uh, sort of base to launch and try to make some new 52-week highs in the not-too-distant future. QEC is their stock symbol, and they trade on Toronto. Next up is Premium Exploration. Uh, Premium Exploration has a uh, their Friday gold deposit in Idaho County, Idaho, uh, and uh, they had some drill results out. One of the holes had a 123 meter intersection of 1.66 grams per ton gold. Uh, so very thick intersection there with a very handsome grade for a thick intersection. Um, <clears throat> they had some um, uh, other details uh, in the press release that uh, you can find on the company's website. Just looking at the stock, and it's down three and a half cents today to twenty-eight and a half cents on forty thousand shares traded. Just looking at the stock chart, it was a sleepy trader until mid-January, and since then it's been going up. And I think that, if memory serves me correctly, that that's related to some good drill results from this Idaho project. I uh, I remember talking about this company recently, and since then the stock has been a much better performer, although not on a huge volume. This company could definitely use some uh, audience building help, um, but uh, I, I, the stock charts getting very is getting much more interesting. PEM is their stock symbol, and they trade on the venture exchange. Next up is Zenyatta. Zenyatta Ventures um, uh, reported um, that they've they're doing some um, studies on this uh, this uh, one of a kind graphite deposit that they have uh, at Lakehead University in uh, in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and they also announced that they got a government grant uh, to carry out additional research. Um, so it, it's a, it's a very interesting project that they have there, and they're doing a lot of good work at the in the labs. Uh, the stock is up six cents today to two dollars and five cents on fifty eight thousand shares traded. Excuse me, I'm just going to take a drink of my coffee. I need a little moisture in the throat there. As I said, it's uh, up six cents on to two dollars and five cents on 58,000 shares trading. Uh, 
stock has been under pressure um, since it topped out there in July. Um, does look like it's bottoming here. Uh, it's uh, creating a base. I think that base is where they're going to move from. I'm actually liking this stock chart as a turnaround play. Uh, and I think there's a good chance I could talk about it on Fridays or at the end of the week show, uh, best of the best in weekly news. ZEN is their stock symbol. They trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is Endeavor Silver. Endeavor Silver um, reviewed their 2013 exploration results and their plans for 2014. Uh, and uh, they have their financial statements uh, coming out in March, um, but they went over a very thorough report on the work that they've done on their various different projects and exploration and what they plan on doing with them in the future. Uh, they had some very uh, exceptionally good uh, grades of gold and silver in their drilling um, and a very interesting uh, company. I like Endeavor Silver a lot. It's one of my go-to silver stocks. Uh, when people ask me about a, a, a good uh, silver stock that I think has a, a good future ahead of it, Endeavor often comes up on the top of my list. Uh, they are up 11 cents today to five dollars and three cents on 162,000 shares of trading. I'm just pulling up their stock chart. They bottomed in June, uh, July, had a very strong move uh, until August gave back some of those gains and didn't bottom until December uh, and since December has been on a very strong move uh, it went from December's lows to the uh, 525 level and then gave back a slight amount of those gains and has been going sort of sideways since it hit that 525 level it's trading above the 2050 and 100 day moving averages uh, on, on good volume and I think that this is the next sort of launch uh, base to launch from uh, for this stock. EDR is their stock symbol and they trade on Toronto. Next up is Kirkland Lake Gold. Uh, Kirkland Lake Gold had uh, come out with their operational update and fiscal 2014 third quarter operating results. Um, they had uh, increased their mining grades, uh, the cutoff grade for mining to just about a quarter of an ounce per ton uh, and uh, that increased their head grade for January to 0.45 ounces per ton. Now that's, uh, that's a 46 percent increase. Bear in mind that a lot of, um, company, a lot of producers uh, have their head grades in decline. So it's encouraging to see that they have theirs in uh, is uh, is uh, growing higher. Um, they also had a, a a lot of other important information in there that you can find on the company's website. Stock market like the news: the stock's up 13 cents today to three dollars and five cents on 212,000 shares of trading. Just uh, pulling up their stock chart now and. Uh, this is another one that bottomed in December, has been uh, gaining strength since then. The latest little spike though, it kind of had a bit of a dip in volume, so that concerns me a little bit, although they do have the bullish sign of being ahead of their, above their 2050 and 100 day moving averages. So you've got some sort of mixed messages there for me. Uh, KGI is their stock symbol, they trade on Toronto. Next up is Silver Standard. Uh, Silver Standard Resources announced that they're acquiring the Marigold uh, project from Gold Corp and Barrick. Uh, they'll be purchasing 100% interest in that for $275 million. Uh, they talk about the, the various um, uh, the highlights of the deal, what that means to Silver Standard. Um, and uh, I think that it puts them in a good position going forward. Market like the news, it's up 48 cents today or 5.7% uh, to $8.87 on 365,000 shares trading. Um, this, this stock bottomed in October, kind of went sideways through uh, until the beginning of November, or December. 
since then it's been on a very solid move. Um, I remember talking about this company down when it was in the six dollar range. Couldn't believe that uh, you know getting a quality company like Silver Standard at those prices, but uh, uh, I definitely was positive on what I was seeing. And uh, they've been on a very good run since then. They ran from six dollars all the way up to nine sixty uh, over about a six week period. Have given back a little bit of those gains, but again, um, not a lot, and it's been going sideways. I think this is creating a new base to launch from. I'm liking what I'm seeing with Silver Standard, their so stock symbol is SSO. Next up is East Main Resources. East Main Resources has come up with some more drilling results from their Clear Water project, which is located in the James Bay Lowlands uh, or James Bay region of uh, Quebec. Uh, they had uh, they had some good a good intersection. The highlight one was 38. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, 15.8 meters over 3.83 gra or 3.83 meters uh, had some uh, very high grades in there as well. Two meters of 59.4 four grams per ton. Uh, nine meters of 8.25. Two meters of 131 grams per ton gold. So uh, very good um, uh, results there. And uh, just pulling up their stock right now, the stock is up a penny and a half to 42 and a half cents on 187,000 shares trading. Uh, stock's been performing a lot better since the December lows, um, and it's going up on a pretty nice uh, kind of a trajectory. Uh, and then uh, sort of went sideways for the last couple of weeks after a big move so I find that very encouraging they're trading well above their 2050 and 100 day moving averages um, so some very interesting stuff happening with the stock uh, on that as a stock trend on that company ER is the stock symbol and they trade on Toronto voice is getting a little tired again here sorry about that folks just got a couple left to uh, deal with. The next one up is Continental Gold. Continental Gold uh, has a project down in the Buraca Buratica, Colombia, um, and uh, they had some drill results out. Now, Colombia is not a place that I, you know, often go looking for um, projects. Uh, it's a challenging place to do exploration and mining. Uh, but when you get the kind of grades this company gets, I mean, you can't ignore these grades. Uh, you know, 8.97 meters of 4.67 uh, grams per ton gold with a sub-interval of 1.5 meters of 20 grams. Uh, they had a 1.35 uh, meter intersection of 142 grams per ton gold. Uh, plenty of other high-grade intersections, and that's what uh, sort of keeps me interested in this continental gold. The stock's down two cents today uh, to three dollars and sixty five cents on two hundred and two thousand shares of trading. Uh, it's been performing much better since early December. Um, trading above its 2050 and 100 day moving averages. Uh, so it's it's got an interesting stock chart as well. Um, CNL is their stock symbol. They trade on Toronto. And the final company today is our old friends over there at Fission Uranium. Uh, Fission Uranium continues to uh, deliver uh, very high-grade uh, uranium from their drilling. Uh, they had their assay results out from their final 20 holes of their summer 2013 drill program at the Patterson Lake South project. And uh, they had 11.1% uh, uranium over three meters, uh, and also uh, which is in, in a part of a, a larger interval of three or eight meters of 4.22 percent uranium. Uh, they also had some good information in there about how this is uh, in context to other drill holes. I encourage you if you're um, looking at fission or are a shareholder uh, to take a close look at that news. Stocks down three cents today to a dollar seventeen on five hundred and fifty-four thousand shares traded. 
just looking at their stock chart, and uh, I've really been liking what I've seen uh, over the last uh, couple months. Uh, it bottomed in December, and since then it's had a pretty good rally from around, let's say, 98 cents uh, to as much as $1.26. Uh, since that, they've kind of been had a slight pullback and have gone a bit sideways. Uh, I think that's a new base. The base is above the 2050 and 100 day on good volume. I, I think that this one is primed to rally and also has a, a good long-term story. FCU is their stock symbol, and they trade on the Venture Exchange. So we had a lot of news to cover there since I've been away the last couple of days. I hope the show wasn't too long for you. Uh, and uh, you've, and I, I think there's a lot of good companies in there for you to do your homework on and good potential to find some uh, investment winners in there. Um, on that note, uh, that's a wrap for today's uh, news. Um, and uh, don't forget to look for us Monday through Thursday, provided I'm not sick. Uh, and uh, then look for our end of the week show uh, where George Cholis and I go over uh, the best news, uh, companies with the best news that also have very strong stock charts uh, from the week's worth of news. So uh, you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.